Hey there! Okay, so today I want to cover who do I follow on YouTube? Now, this is not going to be in any particular order, but I am going to try and explain why I follow these people. I guess the first one, we'll start with letter A, would be Amy Schmittauer. Now, Amy Schmittauer is somebody that's been on YouTube for a very, very long time. And what I find interesting with her stuff is she is very good at explaining how YouTube works and how marketing works and how these types of things work. So whilst I don't use all of the information that she puts out, because yeah, you know, I'm not a marketer, I'm not trying to sell anything other than myself and you know this idea that I can do YouTube but what I do find interesting is she will put things together in a way that quite often it's common sense and I already know it but I just need to hear somebody else reaffirm what it is that I'm already thinking in order for me to then believe what's already in my head <laughs> The second person that I want to mention is also sort of YouTube creator related and that would be Roberto Blake. Now Roberto Blake is another person who is into marketing but he's also into YouTube and graphics and you know creating visual designs and videos and uh, content like that. I follow him because I like to get the information that he already knows because he's already gone down this path that I'm now trying to go down. So that's why I follow him. The next one would be Today I Found Out. Now this channel it covers a lot of different things and you know I, I seem to always end up with uh, Simon Whistler based channels and I, I will cover another one in a minute but um, this team they research things well it's well put together uh, I like watching their success as they grow and yeah so I absolutely love today I found out staying with channels that are presented by Simon Whistler the visual politic English channel is also another one that I love I like to learn what's going on in the world around me and history and things like this so you know this channel also given that they always have really really good music uh, yeah I really like this channel it's very very entertaining it's well put together and I actually learn something that uh, quite often I will find a month two months three months later the knowledge that I've picked up just on this YouTube channel will be regurgitated in another setting such as at work or whatever and people are like wow how did you know about this particular country or this particular dictator or how did you know about this particular political event or how it's affecting business or how it's affecting people and the answer is visual politic. The next one on my list would be Gary Vaynerchuk or Gary V as he's also known. This is a person who is by his own admission savage. So what you got here is a guy that had a wine company called the Wine Library and he was one day serving wine at an event and the event was to do with new media and he liked what he heard and realized that he probably knew more than some of the people that he was serving to so basically you know created this Vayner Media company and his long-term goal is to buy the jets but he sort of takes you along on the ride with him as I said the guy's an absolute savage and there's a lot of swearing there's a lot of uh, good information but uh, you know Sometimes I feel there's too much information, the quantity is too much. Uh, yeah, I normally try to do no more than about 10 minutes a day, if that, but he will sometimes pump out like an hour a day. <laughs> so yeah, the, the guy, yeah, there's quality and quantity, but for me personally, I sometimes find the quantity is a little bit too much. No YouTube list of subscribers would be uh, complete if we didn't put Casey Neistat on it. Now Casey Neistat, he was probably the original person that up here was the catalyst for me to go I would like to try making videos and connecting with people and you know seeing what type of a journey I can create with this so that's why I follow Casey Neistat like I really love his stuff I think he's a great guy uh, you know he does good he uses his position for good and yeah just I, I can't say anything bad against Casey Neistat the next one would be DJ Regard now this is a uh, DJ that he puts out mixes on a regular basis I like his mixes but I can never have his screen on my computer screen when I've got my kids around because there's normally a picture of a half naked woman or something on there but the music is absolutely great uh, you know it's my kind of music I love listening to it it opens me up to new tunes that I've not heard but at the same time there's a lot of old tunes coming back round again that are used in his music that I'm like yeah I remember this in the 70s or the 80s or the 90s and sometimes even the 2000s so you know you've got like four decades of music there and he puts together these mixes that 
things. Quite often I will have it playing in the background while I'm doing something else. Going back to the educational side, I love It's Okay To Be Smart. Now this is one of the PBS Studios uh, uh, channels, but um, you know, whilst I don't watch everything that they put out, you know, I do love this particular channel and I love also showing it to my kids. Quite often we will have it on as a, a little treat once a week or whatever. And yeah, the kids get to see something, we sit down, we discuss it afterwards. So yeah, I like following that channel. The outlier in all of the ones I follow would be Tucker Gott. Now this is a guy that does paramotor uh, videos and for me it's just something that is totally different but I like the way that this guy puts together his videos and you know the guy has a sense of adventure but at the same time sensibility so you know I like the balance that I find in his videos. I, I find them thoroughly entertaining. I wouldn't quite say I've gone as far as I want to take up paramotors, <laughs> but at the same time, I do like watching his stuff. Going back to educational again, there's a bit of a theme going on here, isn't there? Company man. Company Man is very, very good. Very well put together. I like his stuff. I think this is a channel that's going to go places. I get to learn a lot about business. And again, a lot of it is common sense when you think about it. But the history that he brings into a situation is also extremely brilliant. Going into the humor side, there would be Jay Foreman. This is somebody that he sometimes ties in with other YouTube channels. But uh, I love his little skits and things. You know, uh, I, I just find great. If you ever get a chance to watch his Mat Men playlist, that's hilarious. Staying on the educational theme is Captain Joe. So Captain Joe is a commercial pilot based out of Germany. I do a lot of flying so I find his videos interesting because for instance like you know when I wanted to know what that dog noise is on the Airbus this is the guy that explained it. Another perennial favourite would be Kurzgesagt. A lot of people don't know how to pronounce the name. Uh, there's also a lot of people that when they see the Kurzgesagt videos, they sort of get this existentialist dread and you know, you'll know, you quite often see a lot of reaction videos to it. So I love their stuff. And also they tie into another channel from time to time, which I also like following, which is CGP Grey. Going to the geek side, Big Clive. I love Big Clive. He is a very entertaining geek who covers electronics and covers electrical goods and uh, you know, basically anything from sort of dollar store grade you know, knickknacks that have LEDs in them all the way up to industrial systems and everything in between. I also like following Phil DeFranco. Now this is an odd one because I like following news and Phil DeFranco, whilst he covers news, he also covers a lot of the YouTube uh, drama. So I sort of follow him from time to time. What I'll do is I, I won't follow every day, but I will normally do about once every three or four days. I'll go have a look. Okay, what does he cover this week? And then I cherry pick from that list. It's very good to get a rapid fire of the news that's going on and yeah so that's one of my news sources so going into the more weird side of uh, YouTube would be Exerbia now I've used Exerbia's music before he's a very very accomplished musician so he has a, a channel which I wouldn't quite say is highbrow but it's getting on for that like you know there is a lot of intelligence put into it but at the same time the humor can be absolutely toilet humor <laughs> and then finally there would be Baron Von Grumble now, Baron Von Grumble is a UK guy that uh, he originally started off vlogging whilst he rides his motorbike. And again, foul language, but you know, he can be quite funny. And then what happened was he built up such a following while he's riding his motorbike and commuting and talking about what's happening around him or funny stories that he ended up slowly merging into starts doing you know feature vlog entries and eventually you know started up a whole side business which is now becoming his his main uh, uh, channel i like baron von grumble um you know, there, there's a lot of inside humor which i i just fully appreciate i i really like where this guy comes from uh in many ways he sometimes says the things that i'm thinking that i would be too afraid to say <laughs> So anyway, that's a rundown through the channels that I follow. Yep, let me know in the comments below what it is you follow. If you like these types of videos, please hit the uh, thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Okay, thanks very much. Bye-bye.